called out of retirement to help a city in crisis. So it was on September 11, 2001, when the fireboat John J. Harvey was summoned to help at the attack zone, where downtown water mains had been severed following the collapse of the Twin Towers. It was perhaps her most important mission to date. On Sunday, the boat, which has been in Kingston since Friday, made an important stop in the town of Ulster for the 15-year anniversary ceremony at Robert Post Park. We have done this ceremony every year, but this year being the 15th anniversary, we wanted to try to take that extra step, make it a little bit more special, and the, having the John Harvey here behind us as we have our ceremony was that extra step. We we're absolutely delighted that they were able to make it. The ceremony took on greater meaning as the vessel capable of pumping 18,000 gallons of water a minute connected area residents in a visible way to the grief at Ground Zero. The ceremony, which included special music, a wreath toss on the river, and memories of that day brought tears to many, the emotions still strong 15 years later. I just think that we need to educate our youth. I, I was really concerned and sort of shocked one of the young people that I asked about 9-11 and the response that I got that most of them didn't have a clue of what 9-11 was. Ceremonies like the one at the town of Ulster help to keep the memory alive and vessels like the John J. Harvey serve as a tangible way to do that. On 9-11 I think everybody who lived in Manhattan, everyone who lived in New York State really wanted to do something. Um, but so few of us had a chance to, and um, this was something that was easy for us. It's what we do, we know how to do it, and um, it was great that we could contribute. In the town of Ulster, Paula Mitchell, HVNN.com.